हेलो माय डी स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर फ्री वीडियो लेक्चर्स एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल बटन फॉर नोटिफिकेशन एंड विजिट आवर वेबसाइट to purchase full course continuation of the previous uh, previous topic like we have discussed about two types of steels types of steels that we are discussing on that is nothing but we have already discussed about carbonated steel or carbon steel so that is what we have completed then we are going with alloy steel so coming to the exactly phenomenons of the alloy steel we have categorized in the previous session that alloy steels are categorized into three different variations like uh, how, although these are the very vari variational terms of stainless steel in proportion of the stainless steel we are having hsla so already we have abbreviated this in the previous session that a continuation of that one we are going with to do high steel high steel and low alloys and third one we are going with respect to your uh, tooling steel or tool steel those are categorized into two different elements one is low sorry low alloy steel and high alloy steel so depending upon the characterization what we are discussing on that is nothing but we have uh, this tooling steel is also called as weathering steel so these are the three categorization that we will be discussing on this alloy steel is nothing but stainless steel high steel and low alloys with respect to the third one we are calling generally categorizing that one as weathering steel nothing but tools the elements which are habituated other than the requirement of the construction or uh, with respect to uh, with respect to construction or other than the construction that we are going with as tool steel this is also called as weathering because we will be saturating with respect to different different propagations so in that aspect we will be having low alloy steel and high alloy steel so considering this one we are having the substituent one that first the first one we will be discussing about the stain stainless steel so what is that we will be discussing on that is nothing but stainless so word itself is describing nothing but it is not at all stainable nothing but the rust proof elements so in the catchment of this one we are having the proportionately like stain like we are not proportionating any strain on this strain less steel so in the saturation of that one also we are we will be not adopting a, a over hefty weights so only for the uh, commercial aspects only for the designing aspect or only for the uh, decorative aspects will be going with us for a stainless steel so where we will be exactly using we will be first discussing about the using and how it is prepared so first we will be going with this for use then we will go into the preparation modules so where it is used is nothing but usually in, in railings railings such as in staircases staircase is the first example and then we'll go into the balconies other than that we'll be having here kitchenware and etc so we'll discuss on a simple simple aspect then then we'll be going into exact phenomenons where it is exactly used so coming to the sources like a steel railings like going with respect to here other than this one so we cannot categorize this one into railing so i'm going with respect to the second orbit it is first orbit and this is a second orbit so railings in the, in the railings will be going with respect to your staircases so we can see in placement of your the partial segmented wall that is uncaps with respect to your stairs so as a supporting wall or parapet wall that we are providing with respect to your stairs 
in place of that for the decorative purposes or with respect to your appearance purpose we will be using a staircase so uh, with respect to staircase we will be having elaborated element so that we will be using a rails with respect to balconies also in the form of four month uh, the play in the, in the place of the fermented iron steel we will be using a stainless steel such that it is exposed to the atmosphere the moisture content is more when you are going with respect to cast iron the previous one we have discussed about the cast iron with respect to here carbonated steels in that places we are going with respect to here uh, stainless such that appearance as per the appearance purpose it is good as per when you are going with respect to your moisture uh, strength purpose or when you are going in deterioration purpose uh, this are most useful or it is more your duration uh, durable uh, uh, durable comparing to your cast iron so how it is durable and what is durable is nothing but when we are going the catchment of this staircase or balcony continuously it is exposed for your moisture moisture content is uh, common in the atmosphere so it is continuously exposed to your atmosphere where i cannot get any rust so stainless can i go with respect to a simple aspect as rust proof and it can also go into the second aspect rust proof is the first important aspect the second proof is nothing but no additional no additional paint is required so due to the economical purpose we in this in the aspect of the fence in the aspect of steel engineering aspect we will be going with us for the first one is the strength and second one will be elaborating with respect to your economical aspect so rust proof it is somewhat you can go with us for the strength aspect so once the it is not corroding once it is not corroding it is not rusted so corrosion it is it is a corrosionless free and then we can go with respect to non painting element like the, there is no requirement of the pay because at, uh, the material itself is fine shine so that do no propagation or no extra protection should be taken care for this so we are these are the general properties with respect to stainless so coming to your exact manipulation or else preparation purpose manufacturing of or else preparation formatting will be going with preparation so how it is prepared majorly incubation terms are it is prepared with additional of chromium plus alloys like nickel plus adoption of manganese plus when we are going with respect to the elemental structure like when we are going with the adoption of here other than this we are having a proportional like melbarian like uh, when we are pronouncing it nothing but mebolian elements are also added to this so we can also fin finalize this one mobo molybdenum elements so molybdenum elements are most molybdenum elements or agents with some addition when we are going with aspect like copper and others elements are added to it such that it it acts as a protection layer with respect to corrosion and it prevents the corrosion like in general it is preventing the corrosion such that the it is more resistant to your air and moisture content so it is prepared by 12% 12% of chromium nickel plus manganese with molybdenum 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 element so this is what we will be using with respect to addition in the preparation of your stainless steel 
other than this when you are going with respect to the material probability or else any other formats if we are going with respect to your stainless steel mostly these are the elements which are when you are finalizing with respect to financial or uh, entire global aspects normal steel normal steel or carbonated steel if it is used as an 80% sorry if it is used for 45 to 60 percentage my stainless steel for example if you are going with the percentage of use stainless percentage is at most comes with respect to your 40 percentage this is what it is pretended used when we are going with respect to exact steel if, it is, if you are having 100 percent of steel in that carbonated steel is used for 45 to 60 percentage whereas stainless is used for 25 to 40 so in the prediction least term if you are going with respect to thing is nothing but we are having at most 85 percentage of normal use in the purpose of regular format in the regular phenomenons we have uh, in the 85 percentage we have at most to 40 to 50 percentage at most we are going with this 40 to 50 percentage of normal carbon used or normal steel use use that is what it has a previous denominations so it is these are also this will be not categorized into non-ferrous element but the major element that we'll be discussing on this one is non alloy steels are majorly used with respect to your stainless so in this aspect if you are going with the alloy steels as a hundred percent almost 70 to 80 percent stainless e steel is used like later on we are going with this high strength and low uh, depending on the quality that we are pronounced pronounced to with respect to this that are saturated so this is what about your stainless steel then we'll be discussing about your next element like next element we'll be discussing on this so what is that major application we are discussing on nothing but we will be discussing on high steel and low alloy. What is that high steel and low alloy is nothing but we will be saturating the more amount of steel. For example, if you are going with this, the percentages, if it, it is more than 80 to 85 percentage of steel and if you are with respect to 15 to 20 percent of alloys that are used with respect to this now in the preparation of this one we will be having the alloys as similarly whatever we have discussed such as nickel and coming to the next one is manganese in certain such and certain consistency we will be going with titanium also And the elements like molybdenum. So these are the alloys that are generally added to your high steel. Now, what are these high steel and low alloy elements? Are nothing but in general these are are prefabricated or pre-stressed pre-stressed element cables. We'll be using or else we'll be going with individual use where it is used we'll be going with the uses where it is uses or where it is used first one it is used in precast elements and pre-stress elemental bars next one in the connection of your cables and the last one it will be acting as a suspended element now 
Now, what is exactly PKS elements? In the PKS element, we have to adopt the mar before then the element that will be casted with respect to this. So, pre-casting and pre-stressing elements are used with respect to this high strength, high strength. It is also called as in some aspect high strength low alloy elements or high strength low alloy steel. It is also called as in different variations. We have a pronounce in a, a, a proverb like uh, we uh, sorry the when we are going with respect to your general description it can be also called as high strength low alloy or high steel low alloy depending upon the usage in the aspect of this when we we are using in the saturation of 80 to 85 percent of the steel and 15 to 20 percent as an alloy so this is a probability that we are using as more than the concentration like if you are going dividing or more than the concentration of more than the concentration that we are adopting with respect to steel and lesser quantity that we are adopting with respect to alloy. So what are that alloys that generally used is nothing but nickel, manganese, titanium and here uh, molybdenum, molybdenum elements. So where it is exactly these, these are generally used with respect to precasting elements or pre-stressed uh, pre, uh, pre elements. So in the uh, for example if you are going with respect to precasting the bars which is associated the bars which is associated before casting it those cables and those bars are uh, are used as a h uh, sorry <coughs> high high steel and low alloy elements so this are the aspect and why in the pretension it gives a more strength it, it can act as a more strength and element comparing to your carbonated steel so comparing to the strength elements these steel elements are hsa uh, sorry, hsla elements are more uh, more strengthened than comparing to their carbonated elements so coming to the next aspect of this one is pre-stress element when we are going with tendars example as your tendars Tendars, tendar bars or tendars, those are generally sustained with respect to TSLA, nothing but high strength, low, uh, low alloy elements. And coming to the cables, what are this cable or nothing but these are transmission cables. These are generally a transmission cable that are used. So what is exactly a transmission cable? We know a regular proportion about a, a transmission is nothing but in current poles. Like for example, we'll be having a start poles with us out of the city. We'll be having a towers. Uh, from the towers, the transmission of the wires will be generally extinct. So for that extension, transmission cables, transmission cables, you use as high suspended elements. Like when you're going with suspended elements, what are the suspended elements are nothing but when we are going with respect to cables, we have a tower. On that tower, for not cracking from one cable to other cable, there, is, there will be a proportionate element. It might be a circular, it might be glitch, it might be a tint. So depending upon the element that is used is nothing but that all elements are generally phenomenal as suspended elements. So for the preparation of this one, because as in this preparation, as in the, this process, we need higher strength elements comparing to your normal carbonate. That is what we'll be using with respect to alloy steel. So in the don't think that only carbon, like we have a general phenomenon that carbonated steels are high strength and alloy steels are low strength. But when we are going into the entire categorization, but when we, go, when we are going with the entire categorization with high uh, high strength, uh, sorry, high high steel low alloy elements are more com more comparing to the your carbonated steel that is what we'll be preferring with respect to this and after this we'll be going in the discussion of tool steel or weathering steel
so coming to the discussion of the third element that we'll be discussing our tooling steel or weathering steel So coming to the aspects of your alloy steel. In that we are discussing with respect to your tool steel. It is saturately we are going with respect to weathering steel. So that are categorized into low alloy and high alloy so coming to the parameters of this low alloy this is again categorized into three different very low medium low and high to low so this is what will be generally for with respect to considering as very low alloys medium low medium low alloys and high to low alloys so those are categorized depending upon the element that are considering or element that are producing on that so high lows are categorizing into we have a generally format of low low high the third next one which is categorized as tool low high steel and tool steel so what is exactly low high steel low Low, very low alloy steel, medium low alloy steel, and low alloy. It is considering of the addition purpose. It has a existence. It has an existence format of lesser than 0.2 percentage of carbon. So this is what it is a mixation of. It has a range. It, it the carbon contents. With respect to your assumption, like with respect to your alignment, steel is nothing but lesser than 0.25 percentage of carbon. Whereas coming to your medium, it is in the range of 0.25 to 0.2, not greater than 0.6. So if you are going with respect to, it is in the range of. 0.25 to 6 percentage. So whereas comparing to your high steel, it is in the range from 0.6 to the range of not more than 2 percentage. So this is what a regular phenomenon that will be categorizing. So this is we are giving with us for this is nothing but it consists of Lesser than 2.5 percent of carbon. It is in the range of lesser than 2 percentage of carbon. Similarly, the carbon. So, if you are taking this one as carbon, this is in the state. It is lesser than 2.25 percent. So, make sure that it is percentage, sir. So, it will be clear. so this is what a regular phenomenon other than this 
other than this if you are going with respect to a lesser ability of this one we have the somewhat differentiation somewhat differentiation with respect to high to high or high to low it is also called as high to high so we'll be generally fin finishing that it is high to high take it as high to high so that it will be easier and can easily remember that so high to high low alloy steel so itself its name is high to high so in this propagation what is the general phenomenon that we are categorizing first one the carbon content the carbon content is from 0.6 greater than 0.6 to a lesser aspect of sorry to a lesser aspect of 2% but in, in an average average we have 1% of carbon so this is what the general phenomenon apart from that we have the alloy elements like basically when we going with respect to here chromium and what is that chromium percentage that we are adding to it is nothing but 11 percentage of chromium as per point of gate point of view we have to remember or else we have to at least understand what is the source that is added and going to two percentage of nickel and 0 0.01 sorry 0 0.1 of your manganese and 0 0.05 percentage of your molybdenum coming to the extra sources like percentage of minor sources minor percentage of your titanium copper lead etc so these are giving your percentage like sustainable conditions these are giving you sustainable propagations with respect to high to high low members so we can if you want to highlight this one you can highlight it this element is nothing but high to high low alloy steel so important aspects when we are discussing about this one so coming to the next propagation if you are going to the next propagation we have medium low alloy steel so what it is giving exactly we are proportionate with this product what is the carbon content we are generally proportional with respect to carbon content so that is what we will be focusing on so what is that percentage we are in the range we have a range of 0.25 to the adoption length of 0.6 it should not be greater than 0.6 at any cost this is a mandatory term that we have to remember and additionally alloys additionally alloys is nothing but we have 5 to 7 percentage of chromium whereas nickel we don't have exact percentage with respect to nickel that is what it is lesser than 2 percentage so we can adopt the length percentage so we can adopt the percentage to 1 to 1.5 percentage of nickel and minor we will be playing a minor role with respect to your manganese and molybdenum element there will be no titanium and copper because 
it is high it is a medium proportional but whereas high proportional we need an extra strength that is what we will be using a titanium copper and lead but when we are going into minor we will be not using that so sustainability components with respect to this so this is your steel and this is the tool steel so coming to your next proportion with respect to lower we have individual property here only I'll, I'll describe with respect to this. So it has a copper con copper contents, sorry, carbon contents consists of carbon of lesser than 0.25 percentage. So alloy is only mixing with respect to your three, sorry. It is between the range of 2 percentage to 5 percentage, not more than 5 percentage as you are taking the that condition with respect to 5 to. So it is not more than 5, but in general we will be having a lesser than 5. That is what we are making this one as 4. So make sure that when you are present, it is not more than 5. So that is what you have to remember as per this. So it is nothing but your chromium. And you will be having a general percentage of 0.7 nickel. So that we have to make sure. And 0 0.01 percentage of manganese. So this is what we will be using with respect to individual aspects. Where the most important aspect that you have to remember depending upon the carbon consistency. So this is what we will be using. And after... The sources where it will be used is nothing but depending upon the allowability sources like already we state that it is weathering steel depending upon the usation like if you are going with respect to construction elements the the sources that we will be using with respect to this is nothing but to carry element or to thron will be using a throning element a thron rod thron rods are generally used with respect to a weathering rod so apart from this if you want to generally categorize if you want to generally categorize, uh, we can go with respect to a better example of your uh, su sustainable materials which are construction labors will be used. Or else, apart from that, if you are going with other than the construction elements, the the previous elements, if you are going with respect to your lathe smiths, so lathe smiths or a gold uh, uh, blacksmiths, if you are going with blacksmiths, the materials, the tools which are that use. Uh, with respect to hammer and probability or else uh, thorning rods or uh, if you're going with the bubbles bubbles are nothing but if you're it will be having a same exact throne of your uh, nails so bubbles so in that proportions will be used depending upon the strength that it is required so if you are going with every proportionate of your hand work like uh, your land the land source like hard workers like smiths if you're going with potteries so that are um, the materials that are used with respect to your tooling elements. All the tooling elements are used with respect to your low alloy or high alloy, depending upon the proportion that are used. So this is what we'll be generally finalizing as for the point of your PSUs or else as a pa pa uh, part of your gate. We'll be only concentrating on the percentage of the chemical or reaction that is acting over the frames. That is the most important because as per this element there is no proper use or no proper section so only we'll be concentrating on the amount of carbon that is saturated and how it is saturated with what is the, what are the alloys that are proportioned to it
so going into the factor of second property like said that we will be having a high alloy steel so in that we'll be having a description of Coming to the aspects of low, high steel and touring steel is nothing but in general we'll be having high alloys. So what is that percentage? What is that remuneration that will be followed? Is nothing but we'll be having low, high alloy steels. Next one will be going with touring steel. So what is that exactly and what is uh, what and where will be comparing this type of steels and how the source that will that should be adopted with respect to this in nothing but generally these alloys are general I'm comparing general two types of alloys they will be having more than 11% of of chromium initially we have stated that it is high alloys so that we are initiating that it will be having 11 percent more than 11 percentage of chromium and considerably it will be added with respect to the other alloys like nickel in the high percentage this are considerable with respect to high percentage of high percentage of nickel and Gradual sustains with respect to titanium and the uh, um, 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 molybdenum molybdenum elements. So high proportion. This will be in a proportion of high proportion. But in general, we'll be following that it is having the saturation limit of more than 11 percentage of chromium. More than 11 percentage of chromium, which is consistently when we are going with the individual component. It acts as a tooling element. Like it gives an extra provision with respect to your air and moisture content. Air and moisture content. So that such that it can act as better resistance with respect to corrosion. So not only this proportion, we are going with this other alloys also because we are going with respect to individual pattern about this. So in general. It gives a sustainability strength and if you are going with respect to your regular proportion in the regular proportion of in day-to-day -day life a gold is added with respect to copper what is that a use why we are preferring with respect to gold mixed with respect to the copper is nothing but to make the flexibility with respect to that to making an ornament in a particular shape size and shape we are using with respect to this why the copper is used is nothing but the basic requirement of the copper is nothing but to mold into particular size and particular shape to exude such design we are propagating the copper into that and to make a flexibility of the work in the same scenario for making out this a proportion of your tool element majorly for the tool elements we are making a high proportion of using of 11 percentage of chromium like making an ability to work or making the ability to get the strain to particular uh, proportionality we are using high percentage of chromium when we are comparing to the regular formats of carbon carbon in the sufficient format we are not using more than two percentage of carbon but in general regularizing this one because almost we the type of steel when we are going with types of steel before going the types of steel we have discussed about steel is not at all proportionate not more than two percentage so in that two percentage we are categorizing with respect less than two percentage of carbon but 
eleven percent of chromium we are using more than eleven percent of the chromium and high degree proportional of your nickel molybdenum plus titanium in the regular phenomenon so if you are seeing observing with respect low sorry observing with low element low alloy we are having three different sub substrate very low medium high to high in high to high only we have added the re replications of titanium but it has a replication with it in a minor state now we are going into gradual substrate like 0.01 0.5 titanium less rubidium component so when we are concentrating on rubidium components are nothing but its high composition of your copper plus your lead this composition we are using with respect to non like in general we will be calling that composition with respect to non ferrous but here we are using non the partial substrate partial substrate of your uh, non ferrous also is added to this two alloys such that these are playing a major role when we are concentrating with respect to your as per your sorry so in this prop propagations we are using with respect to your uh, objective purpose like when we are going with respect to individual aspect the objective per as per the objective purpose we are only concentrating on the percentage of chromium and percentage of carbon that is used and what are the uses is nothing but workman tools such as blacksmith blacksmith is most important when we are going with us for this the other one when we are going with us for the other one let smith you can also call this person as let smith the person who is working on the lathe machine or else the machine component we can also go with respect to sorry motor components or machine components machine tools or parts so for this element we are using a tool steel where the condensation of that one will be propagate with respect to your no uh, air or moisture so due to the presence of that one we are habituate with respect to high, high low low high alloy steel or tooling elements generally these are categorized only the point percentage here we will be using same 11% chromium and here you are using same 11 percent chromium but the only difference will be using is nothing but will be not saturated not at all saturated with respect to your um what we say the only composition that is a regular difference is nothing but we will be using a titanium components titanium component but here we'll be going with respect to vanadium the only difference that here we'll be using a titanium and here we are going with vanadium so these are the proper consistency will be having a same uh, uh, like a uh, difference of atomic number but having a higher member with respect to titanium and lower consistency with vanadium so if you are going with respect to this
when EDM component is used, depending upon your catch, uh, catchment area, like when you are going with respect to, it is nothing but Webil. billion terms that are used with respect to this so this is the only thing thing that will be using with respect to composition the only change the uh, the uh, regular change with respect to this is nothing but uh, in the source of preparation of preparation of your watches Preparation of watchers and some type of bolt, some type of poles going with respect to lesser strength, and the other purpose when we are going with respect to watchers, bolts, the partial segmenters of your pieces, nothing but. pieces at the rate when we will why, why, how we will be using is nothing but in welding sources we will be using these tools and the last one we will be using as cripplers mostly we will be using in this saturation first one the usation of watchers and lesser strength of bolts when we are using high strength bolts depending upon your high mobility of the alloys but uh, that will be using in a different situation and pieces with respect to weld, uh, pieces with respect to welding at the point of welding they'll be uh, they'll be using a concentrated pieces that and cripplers will be you know in general will be using with respect to your rivet consistency these are used in a rivet so this is what the uses and the preparation with respect to this the general uses take it as general uses of your alloy steel sorry weathering steel so this is what will be having a replication and how to use and where to use depending upon the proportions we will be using it so
so i think we will be completing our session like discussing about the steel will be sourcely over like we'll be studying about the overall parameters about the steel then we'll go into the next topic depending upon the sources like majorly where the steel are used and coming to the overall conclusion about the steel so to a regular summary of your steel what is that we have studied is nothing but the first thing we have studied about the steel composition of the steel properties of steel and next thing we have studied about compositions next we have studied about types of steel now how the properties are nothing but will be will be going in saturation with here preparation of iron and types of iron and what the iron is called as regularly we will be calling sixth world adhesive element so as per the point of remembrance we have to remember this one as a point of remembrance we have individually the conclusions like we will be not having greater than 2 percentage of carbon it is an alloy nothing but uh, it's an alloy of iron ore will be going with us for this one so that is most important with us for composition now coming to the steel we have one as carbon steel and the next one we are going with respect to your alloy steel so in the case of carbon steel we are saturated with bars sectional steel and then we are going categorization of your angles as well as plates so com coming to this one alloy steels we are generally characterizing into stainless parameter is an important factor next when we are going with respect to hsla then we have studied about your advanced parameter as your tool steel now in that we are having low and high alloy so other than this we have categorized characterized about how many number types of bars sectional steel and what are the basic parameters how will be calculating how will be justifying and what are that present in the market suitability with respect to this and what are the considerations that we have to use and depending upon this one we have already studied also studied about properties of internal properties if you are want it's an internal properties of steel that is what we have to remember and most important this are the regular sources that will be studying about the steel and in the next class we'll be studying about comparison with respect to steel how it will be modulated with respect to concrete and how we are justifying the concrete structures are safer one or spree structures are safer one and how will be com uh, component with respect to two different conditions so in that generalized we'll be discussing about regular comparison with respect to steel as well as concrete material as well as construction sources that are available in the sources so thank you we'll be discussing in the next class